Hey guys, welcome back to Sports Betting Truth with me, William Lease, and you guys win, all right? You guys win. You guys have been asking for a while now for me to uh, do go back to doing more uh, sports betting model-related videos, and you know, I've kind of held off because honestly, I look at the analytics in my channel, I look at the analytics in the previous uh, model-based videos I've done don't get a lot of engagement, don't get a lot of views, don't make a lot of money, and they take a lot more effort to make um, than other videos I do, and therefore more effort for less views, less advertising revenue and everything. It's just kind of like, okay. But you, you guys win. You guys are always asking in the chat, saying I need to stop doing the reaction videos, stop doing the stream, stop calling out touts and go back to doing model bidding videos. And while I probably won't stop doing those videos, I can probably throw you guys a bone and do a model series. And today is going to be part one of a series of 18 videos that I have planned called Creating a Sports Betting Model 201. Now, one of the first videos I ever made for this channel was Creating a Sports Betting Model 101, which is a very... Um, more elementary level uh, series. But this series, if you guys really want me to do uh, model-based videos on this channel, then I'm going to go all in. I'm going to go all out and actually create a pretty in-depth series. Now, it's probably not going to be as technical, probably not going to be as hands-on where I'm actually showing you guys how to write code and everything, at least for most of the videos. But I'm going to go a lot more detail into the concepts and what truly constitutes building a sports betting model because it's a lot more complex than you guys think. And you guys have been clamoring for this, so I'm going to show you what it's really all about. So go ahead and hit that like button. Make this worth my while. Like I said, these don't do good in the analytics. So hit the like button, share it, subscribe, do everything it takes to make this worth my while because I plan on doing 17 more videos. And if these videos aren't registering on the view counts and like counts and ad revenue and everything, it's going to make doing the other 17 videos in the series a total drag, a total obligation. I might not put my whole heart into it knowing that it's not really clicking with the audience. So do your part. If you, you guys have been asking for these videos, you guys have been wanting me to do more of these videos. So if I'm going to do that, do your part, like, subscribe, share. Otherwise, maybe I'll burn out and not finish the series. So this is the first video in the series. It's the reality check video, part one of 18. And when I say reality check, the reality check means what exactly are you getting yourself into if you want to build a sports betting model? Now, there's a lot of different models out there. There's very simple models. I mean, you can go as simple as an ELO-based model, and that'll take you maybe an hour or two. You can go very complex like the models I build, and then there's you know a middle ground in between. But I do want to say, you have to ask yourself first and foremost, before you even start, why are you doing this? Why are you creating a model? Why do you want to create a sports betting model? If your answer to that question is, I want to win money, you are in it for the wrong reasons. Because even with a model, it is still very hard to win. And I don't think a lot of people understand that. I've even created videos outlining this before, and people still don't understand because I get emails and stuff all the time from my viewers is saying, hey, I built this model and it's not winning. What's the deal? Hey, I want to build this model to win money. What do I do? Don't build a sports betting model. And I say this very forcefully. Don't build a sports betting model for the purpose of winning money. It's Even if you build a model that profits, right? Your margins are still probably going to be pretty thin and you're not going to win a lot of money. If you're doing this for the money, you're going to be solely disappointed because you have to put a lot of work and a lot of effort into it and you're going to find out that the juice isn't worth the squeeze. So if you're doing this, if you want to build a model to win money, don't. I cannot emphasize this enough. A model does not equal winning. Too many of you, too many of my viewers, even though I say this all the time, think that model equals winning. I just need to build a model and I will win. No, all a model does is raise your chances of winning long term out of the 0% territory because I firmly believe without a model, you have a 0% chance. That's right, 0.00, not 0.01, but a 0.0% chance of winning long term betting on sports. Without a model, that is true. A model just raises your chances from zero. It does not raise your chance of winning long term to 100% or 50% or 25%. Honestly, I believe it raises your chances from 0% to like maybe 1% or 2% because I have a data science background. It's what I do for a living. And even I create models that don't win long term. Like it's very tough. 
And even the ones that do, like the margins are so thin, it's like you spend hundreds and or you spend dozens, if not hundreds of hours that I've spent building these models to what, win like four units in a college football season after all the work I put in. So guys, that's why I call this the reality check video. You need to check your ego at the door, drop the fantasy, drop the notion that you're going to build a model and win a tons of money because it's probably just not going to happen. Like, especially if you don't have a strong data science background like me. So why would you want to create a model then if it's not about winning money? That's what this is going to be about. To enjoy the process, to enjoy being a statistical nerd, to learn, to enjoy the numbers game of the sport that you're building a model for, to enjoy the process. If you don't enjoy math, if you don't enjoy statistics, you're really not going to enjoy building a model and you're not going to have the patience required to grind it out because I'm not talking about simple ELO chess or pure points-based models in this video. I'm talking about pretty complex models out there, and they're, they take dozens of hours, if not hundreds of hours, to see all the way through. And if you don't enjoy math, if you don't enjoy statistics, if you don't enjoy the statistical and analytical part of the sport you're making a model for, you're not going to have the patience to ride it all the way through and grind out those hours that it takes to see it all the way through. So... If you're going to do this, you have to enjoy math, you have to enjoy numbers, you have to enjoy statistics, and you have to have a lot of patience and a lot of willpower, something I no longer have. That's why I don't really dabble these days in sports betting models, because while I enjoy the statistics, I enjoy the numbers, I enjoy math and all that, I don't have the patience anymore to deal with a lot of the things that we'll see in subsequent videos. So you got to have a lot of patience. You got to have a, a, a lot of, uh, you got to be a tough guy mentally to really stick this out. And so that's why I'm starting this series off with this video, the reality check video. Is this really something you want to do? Do you really know what you're getting yourself into? Because I don't want you to spend dozens of hours or something and abandon it in the middle of it because you're just tired of it all. Because you're going to come to a point where you're like, do I really want to keep going with this? Do I really want to continue? And that's, that's why you need to watch this video first. Watch this video 10 times. Ask yourself, is this something I really want to do? Because if it's not about the money and it's more about enjoying the numbers and everything, you have to ask yourself, am I okay with putting dozens of hours into something that's probably not going to win me money anyway? If the answer is no, don't do this. Even if the answer is yes, you still got to check yourself. Is this really something I want to do? Because in the end, it can be a great hobby. Uh, all building a sports betting model and getting into the nitty gritty when it comes to the numbers and statistics and everything when it comes to a sports betting model. It can become a great hobby. It can be a fun hobby, a fun thing to do, a fun way to, to eat up time. Um, also, it doubles as a great way to learn a skill. You can learn a lot of data analytics and data science and everything like that. Uh, that could be a marketable skill that you can use in your employment. Um, how do you think I got to where I am today? I didn't really go to school to be a data scientist. I got a journalism degree. How do you think I learned all this? How, how do you think I'm employed today as an analytics and data science uh, consultant? How do you think that is? Because I was able to take all the skills I've learned over the past 10 years building sports betting models and everything like that and turn it into a career. So you can. there's a lot of upside to being able to build sports betting models that is not winning. It can create a good hobby. You can teach yourself employable and marketable skills that are in demand these days in the job field. I mean, there, there's a lot of upside. You just have to have the patience and you have to have the right reasoning. So with all that being said, just know what you're getting yourself into. And if you're okay with that, then I have 17 more videos after this that will kind of outline the process of building a sports betting model from the ground up. Like I said, it's not going to be technical. I'm not going to go into R or Python and show you how to code and everything. But we're going to talk about the basics of truly building a sports betting model that can, at the very least, if not win you money, show you some pretty cool insights into the sport that you're analyzing. So with all that being said, I hope you stick around for the subsequent videos. Please make this worth my while. Please like this video, share it, subscribe and everything. Because like I said at the beginning of the video, these model based and analytic and how to videos I make don't do very well in the analytics compared to my other videos. So please make it worth my while and hit the like button, please. Anyway, that wraps it up for this first video. Again, 17 more videos coming. The next video is going to be about data collection, a very important video in the series, so stay tuned. Until then, this is me, William Lease, signing off.